We're back with another form. What's going on, guys? Boy, Uz back in once again with another Dragon Ball Super reaction. This is Chapter 74, Vegeta versus Granola. This is something that actually happened, or was actually being set up, I should say, in the last chapter. There was no... I don't think I did a chapter reaction last month. That's probably just because of the fact of the timing. I actually went home on vacation for, you know, like, around two weeks or so so i was not doing any videos of the sort and uh it was definitely some well-needed time off but we're here now with the following chapter of course so there's not going to be a chapter 73 reaction naturally just because the, you missed the reaction <laughs> so it's it goes without saying the one thing that was definitely unavoidable was the spoiler reveal on vegeta's new form which I at least don't know what it's called, but I definitely saw them Super Saiyan 3 eyebrows. And I'm not gonna lie, just to kind of get this out there right now, not the biggest fan of how it looks, but we're not just here for that. We're gonna see how this chapter turns out. So let's get right into it. Okay, we'd better get far away until the explosions and tremors die down. Looks like they're all escaping. Okay, you should know, tricks like fusion and clones won't work against me. There's no need for any of that, says Granola. I used the clone to save my strength because my ultimate goal is to kill your boss, Frieza. You're still going on about that, says Vegeta. I parted ways with Frieza's army long ago. As far as we're concerned, he's one of our foes. Hmm. And then the Granola starts laughing. <clears throat> You'd betray your own boss to beg for your life? You Saiyans are pathetic. Man, Granola's annoying at this point. Hey, Granola. Do you not find it strange? The other saying also asserted that he is not an evildoer. Oh, that must be his, like, uh, earpiece or whatever talking to him. They're just trying to save their own skins. That is possible. Think what you want, but know that I was but a child when the Saiyans invaded this planet. That had nothing to do with us. Be that, is, be that as it may, I will have my revenge against all Saiyans. I expect it as much. If that's your stance, then why should I hold back? Okay, here we go. First power up. Prepare to perish along with your people's history. Ooh. Okay, so my man Vegeta did some earthquake type move. Uh, oh, what was he doing? What the hell? Look, at he, it looked like from the arts perspective, it looks like he shot or maybe no, maybe he's just destroying all of the rocks around him. We see Goku's dead-ass body. Granola says, I see. Your destructive power is lacking, so you make up for it with quantity. Ah, I see. Okay. So I was right. It was, it was on some destruction-based stuff. Let me illustrate the gulf between us. Oh. Okay, so he, like, brought up, like, some big, like some big boulder from the earth and he he literally used it to push vegeta towards him and he punches him right in the gut vegeta goes looking like he he's 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 feeling it Ooh, looks like he's coughing up blood vegeta just does a key blast to his face granola dodges vegeta chases after him they're fighting in the air now Granola hits him back down to the ground into a river. Vegeta gets right back up. Granola is approaching him. He's running. He's, he's chasing after him very fast. Vegeta blocks a punch. So Vegeta, Granola is giving him the work right now. Granola kicks him back. Vegeta is still blocking. Ooh, double-handed swing. Ooh, directly to Vegeta's face. Yo, what's up? Vegeta, fight back. Okay, now he's shooting uh, some more key energy out of his fingertips. And he's shooting him as Vegeta's underwater right now. Looks like Vegeta escapes from the river. There's like a waterfall. Yep, he flies out. Granola's still chasing him with his finger beams. Vegeta jumps back into the water. So he's like, okay, so he's just like evading him and running away. Literally on this river so he goes that jerk so now oh okay so my man he's got a little okiora in him he's, he's got that quinchy he's pulling it back 
and assist Oatmeal, Roger. Okay, so now he's about to try to snipe him. Not yet. Let him emerge into the lake where there are no obstacles. Just a bit more. Almost there. Now fire! So he shoots a, a big beam. And now Vegeta... Okay, he catches it. And he's still in the water, mind you. Resisting. No. You have no chance. Vegeta's... Ah, I don't know how he's doing it. He's underwater still. He comes out of it. But he's... He's not... He's definitely scathed. So we're already halfway done with this chapter. And Vegeta has been worked, son. Worked this entire time. He comes out the water. He's on the sand, on the shore. Granola says, surprising. You people are far stronger than I expected. Vegeta says, you still sound awfully high and mighty about it. How, why wouldn't I? No matter how powerful you are, I remain the strongest in the universe. <laughs> this struggle is pointless. Vegeta says, I admit it. At the moment, your strength... Oh, oh, he says, I admit it. At the moment, your strength and technique surpass my own. But I'm still going to win. Okay? Bold claim. Granola says, I don't follow. He says, has that overinflated ego left you unable to accept reality? It's almost sad. Vegeta says, stop yammering and keep fighting, Mr. Strongest. Okay? So we go back to Goku really quick. He looks like he's waking up. And, ooh, he's in pain. He's hurting. Where's Granola? So then he senses and sees that uh, Vegeta and Granola are fighting at a distance. Now they're fight. They're fighting in the air now. Hmm, okay, okay. They're still fighting. Goku, oh, it looks like they're getting a little bit closer to Goku, it seems. Vegeta, join the fight? Of, I mean, no, of course, you got knocked the hell out, Goku. What the hell do you think? All right. Vegeta throwing out more key blasts. Granola literally destroys all of them before they could even touch him. You didn't really think that would work, did you? Okay, he tries another beam, and this time he yeets it. Vegeta ends up behind him. Granola says, I told you, resisting is pointless. Oh, Vegeta dodges his own close-up beam. Oh, and he destroys the, the, the little town that I guess the Saiyans had originally destroyed all those years ago. He says, you're fine blowing up what's left of the city, full of all those precious memories. You're a dead man. I can tell, you know, that you only recently acquired this absurd strength. How? How can you tell? Thank you for confirming. <laughs> Vegeta, I'll smart him. You're clearly not used to your power. You are majorly lacking in the battle experience to back it up. Okay, so Vegeta takes, brings the fight to him some more. Granola throws a punch. Vegeta blocks. He catches his fist. He says, what have you been up to since gaining this power? Have you put it to use with any training? Training? No need. Oh, we all, we all know what happens when the characters that they're fighting admit to not training or not training as much. So let's see what, let's see how this unfolds. So Granola still manages to kick him straight into the gut again. Witness the gap in our power and admit defeat, saying, Need I repeat myself? You may be stronger, but... And he grips onto his leg. That's no guarantee that I'll... Lose to you. Oh, he oh, looked like he went to snap his knee. Okay. He, he went for it. And then Granola kicks him off. He says, get off. Right? Vegeta lands on all fours. Brushes his mouth real quick. Granola says, this power I've gained makes me the strongest. It's a given that I'll win here today. Vegeta goes, hmm. That's the great thing about a battle. The outcome is never quite set in stone. It's exactly what I love about fighting. Shut your mouth, barbarian. How many lives were sacrificed to your love of carnage? Granola drops down. He approaches him. He throws a barrage of punches. Vegeta goes, here's another tidbit. Strongest, second strongest rankings are well and good, but they only reflect a moment in time. Once that moment has passed by, it's nothing but history. Damn, it's fitting facts right now. Okay. Take me, for instance. I'm already stronger than I was a few minutes ago. Mmm. I've grown more and more powerful throughout this dance of ours. Good enough reason for me to finish you off now. So then, oh, and then he goes for the Saiyan armor. 
Oh, he pierces him. Oh, no. He's spitting up blood now. Every time. Yo. It's like Vegeta's spitting all this real stuff, but then Granola just, like, keeps really, like, serving him in. And Vegeta starts laughing slowly. What fun. This feeling. It's been ages. So, and he powered him down all the way to nothing, to base form. Granola is alarmed. He goes, there's no planet to protect, no people to save, just me immersed in battle. Oh, wait, no, that's Vegeta's. I'm sorry. That's what Vegeta's dialogue. My happy place. Just the thing to get a battle-crazed Saiyan's blood pumping. Granola backs off because he's freaked out. Vegeta starts powering up. Okay. Oh, snap. Here it is. Here it comes. Now they're over there. They're taking this battle all over the map. Vegeta's chi just changed. Feels like god chi to me, but not just any old god chi. <laughs> of course. Granola starts shooting some missiles at him, and within this aura that it's emitting before Vegeta, it just disintegrates on on touch and now granola's like what now uh there's there it is what happened to you a god of destruction taught me that power derived solely from instinct is unbounded and there it is ladies and gentlemen the final page of this month's chapter and of course they show off Vegeta's brand new God of Destruction form in the flesh. So here's my thing. As far as the chapter goes, let me just get that out of the way. I really thought that it was a pretty good solid chapter as it usually is, right? I felt like Granola definitely got a lot of good offense in and that makes, you know, his whole gimmick a little more credible than what it might have seen or or how, how it might have seen seemed at the surface level however obviously we are we can all probably share the same prediction and that this is only for a limited amount of time because he's inevitably fighting off two really really strong Saiyans even though he might be the strongest in the universe right now there is a, a form of a time limit his lifespan, we don't know how much longer he actually has. I, I think that was actually revealed already, but it's been so many months since they last talked about it that it's not uh, at the forefront of my brain right now, but I feel like he doesn't really have that much time to live anyway. And the real boss battle is most likely going to be one of them heaters and or Frieza, right? For they, they've, they've, named, they've been talking about Frieza so much so that it's inevitable for him to show up. Um, I really do like, like I said, I like it's, it was, this was a heavy granola chapter, right? With obviously some sub focus in Vegeta. Vegeta's trying to essentially get him to like understand a few things while they're fighting. Now let's talk about this new form because that's obviously where the majority of this topic of discussion is, for this video in particular is pretty much going to happen. Vegeta don't even look healthy. Let me just start with that, right? I'm looking at his face right now, and he, he don't even look healthy. He looks like he was thrown up in the back, okay? His face, he looks like he, he's, he, he got skinnier in the face. And for some reason, his eyebrows are the same Super Saiyan 3 type eyebrows. So, the wording here, right? He says, a god of destruction taught me that power derived solely from instinct is unbounded, right? So that can be interpreted in many different ways. Now, the way I'm going to try to explain it right off rip, just, you know, by finishing off of this chapter right now without giving it any more thought, um, you know, right, you know, at this very moment in time for me is that this is like him tapping into his raw Saiyan ability while also being fully in touch with his God key side at the same time. So like it's like a perfect fusion in, in some way. It might, might not be perfect. But if we look at the, uh, 
at the at the at the history of all of these transformations and all of these power ups and what have it. I mean, Dragon Ball, of course, is at a is at a very interesting point in its lifespan where it is almost expected to see new power ups as the story goes on and on and on. And now that Vegeta, for the first time since Super Saiyan Blue Gatorade Diamond, as I like to put it, right? Evolution, as most of the community likes to put it. That's the last form that we've seen this man have, right? Which is not that much of an extension off of just regular Super Saiyan Blue. It's basically a powered-up version. Now, I don't know what color his hair is because of course this is manga but from what we can maybe take a guess this could still be black hair this could still very well be his black hair but what makes this interesting is of course the obvious uh, attention to uh well not attention to detail but does just the, the minor bit of detail that makes all the more difference is his eyebrows and those eyebrows we've all seen before and that's on a super saiyan 3 now back to this whole the power derived solely from instinct is unbounded so i feel like they're they're using the word instinct instinct again this kind of goes back to something that i've been saying for a few years now not a few years but for several at this rate primal instinct okay keyword on primal next to instinct these these dudes are monkeys okay and if you want to understand it at a grander scale, my whole thing is this. Say Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3, you can argue, are not like... They're not the natural Saiyan transformations. Okay, they're definitely power-ups. You know, they, they're, they're, there's, there's multipliers and whatnot. I'm not going to get into that. But the fact is, is that they are definitely power boosts to a degree. Right? We've learned many different things and when it comes down to how the Super Saiyan levels work. However, and of course, you know, I might get some heat for this, but you know, GT. GT showed us what Super Saiyan 4 is. Now tell me how Super Saiyan 4 seems more natural and more akin to what their race is. You know what I'm saying? Like they are... Saiyans are they're, they're 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 monkeys. They're literally warrior apes, okay. And the closer they get to that higher uh, source of power, which is their Ozaru, their great ape, right? They take on more of the monkey-like characteristics, and the evidence is right there. As soon as Goku started going Super Saiyan three, he had them eyebrows. And then the second he started, and then and as soon as he was able to go Super Saiyan 4, how, how did he do it? The first time was off of first transforming into a great ape. And then, you know, and then with, withstanding that power, we're able to control it. And then, it, you know, it humanizes. And then they become like, a, like, a, like an ape-human hybrid, in a sense. And that, to me, speaks the truth. That is, that is the true Saiyan. The true Super Saiyan, okay? But I'm not here to argue about that or whatever. That's just my take on it because clearly we're seeing another, you know, updated version where this is not Vegeta Super Saiyan 3, but this is his God of Destruction Super Saiyan. I don't know what to call this. I'm sure we'll get a, an official name if there hasn't been one already by the next chapter. And those those are all of my immediate thoughts. Now I have some good news for you guys. Um, the Full Power Podcast is coming back, and uh, should be out at some point this week at the time of this recording. If you're watching this right now, um, I will be discussing this in further detail with Kai. Okay, we've been you know we've obviously been keeping in touch. He's literally one of my best friends, so that's it's natural, <laughs> right? And uh, just look forward to that because. Him and I, we haven't fully discussed, you know, our feelings on it because, of course, we want to save that conversation at least for you, you guys to to hear us going on about. Um, but I can tell you right now, just off the the small bit of conversation that we did have, we're on the same page. We're not really big fans of how it looks, 
and we're you know i'm, I'm sure we're hoping that it, it it measures up to be of some worth to some uh, uh, some use because you know vegeta's you know he's been pretty much under beerus's wing now we'd like to see him be you know a little bit more assertive as far as you know like being all about this destructive lifestyle i guess so with all that being said like i said the chapter was good not sure exactly how I feel about this new form. I'm not the biggest fan of it yet. That's all I'm going to say. So thank you guys for watching. If you uh, checked out the full reaction and my thoughts, if you made it this far, please let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this week's chapter in the comments below as usual. Like, share, subscribe me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to always be in the description as always. And I've always been leaving them in the description as always, but I do want to definitely especially plug the Full Power Podcast since it is on it you know it is coming back um catch up on all the episodes that you haven't heard right there wherever you listen to your podcast spotify all that good stuff okay take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked right here on the channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see you guys next time